Hello and welcome to Fenton Farm. I'm Andrew Gabriel. I farm on a Devon Somerset border in a small village called Holcombe Rogus. I farm poultry which includes chicken for point -lay sales and eggs, turkeys and also arable and lambs. I farm about 154 acres which is about 60 hectares. And over the next week or so I'd have to do a few of these every now and again just to say what life goes on on a farm for a miserable old farmer like myself which will include chicks hatching, turkeys arriving, arable, which this year is a little old rubbish, uh, lambing and just egg production, just basically what goes on on the farm. I must apologise to start with because I've only just bought this camera and I'm not exactly sure how it works. One thing, the first thing I've realised is that um, my arm's too short and now it's starting to ache quite a lot. So without any further ado, let's get on with the show. Today we're going to look at the various hybrid chicken I sell here on the farm. We've got a selection of them here, and in, in a minute we'll go through them individually just to look at the individual birds. Uh, they're all reared here from day old, and I buy the day olds in a part of the Fenton Blue, which is a blue egg layer back here, who's a bit shy, who I, which I breed here on the farm. A little tuft on its head there. Um, they're all vaccinated, fully vaccinated. A vet comes in every ten days or so to vaccinate various ages of birds. So I buy in about four hundred birds every month to rear on, so I've got various ages on the here on the farm. So without um for all these birds to go too far away, I've lost one already I think somewhere. We'll go through them. These birds here are Fenton Blue, which I breed here on the farm. They're a blue green egg layer, but eighty percent you lay a bluey green egg, the other twenty percent will lay a or light brown brown egg. Um, hopefully over the generations that should improve to eventually 100% but a year or two yet I expect. I tried to breed them with a little head tuft just to make it look slightly quirky. Um, they are various, some are lighter brown like this one and some are darker brown. Um, but uh, yep, they lay about 230 eggs a year. These are the speckledy or cuckoo moran and I come from the French breed of Moran, which lay dark eggs. These are averagely dark egg. They lay about 260 to 270 a year. The birds are most popular seller, just because they're great looks than the darker and average eggs. These are road rocks. Also another very popular bird due to the great egg production. They lay about 300 brown eggs a year. They're also very hardy, and have good disease resistance. A lot of the eggs they lay are also double yokers, um, and they're also very good in their second years that keep keep on producing eggs. Also, the feathers are kind of green tinge in the su sunlight as well. So yeah, if you just want a lot of eggs and look pretty, this is a bird for you. These birds are like Sussex, black round the neck and black tails. They're all they're a large bird, but like the bluebell. You get to about six, seven pounds in weight, so you can have them a Sunday lunch if you want to, but the majority of people just have them for eggs. They lay a lighter brown egg than normal. They lay about you 240, 250 eggs a year. So not quite so productive, but uh, great looking birds. These birds here are called bluebells. They're a Moran Rhode Island Red Hybrid. And they're slightly larger than your average bird. And we'll lay you about 240 to 250 uh, reddish brown eggs a year. They're a beautiful bird, especially their feathers when they glisten in the sun. These birds are the hybrid Rhode Island Red. They're about the best leg layer you can get. They lay between 280 and 300 brown eggs a year. And they're very popular. Most eggs in the supermarket will come from this kind of bird, but normally they have a brown tail and these have the black tail. But like the Colombian black tail you see in certain shops. They're very popular in great egg layers. This bird here is a white leghorn, which lays white eggs. The great egg layer will lay you 300 eggs a year. Um, great, so just egg laying machinery. Just be careful if you've got young children because these are quite flighty really. If you've got small gardens, they'll, uh, they'll end up in your neighbour's garden. It's very quiet now, mind, but it's a 
We've got to catch in a minute and it'll probably end up in the field somewhere. But I don't know, great egg laying machines, so that's what you want. Beautiful pure white eggs. Just lays, yeah, a lot of eggs. I told you the white ones are a bit flightier. We've got them all apart from this one now. A good way to catch them is with a chicken net, uh, a, a fishing net. But it's not it's still the easiest thing to do. Hopefully, we've got it now with a bit of luck. Oh, God. End up in the field now. Now, get it now! Oh, well. So much for the cricket training. Oh, he's got it. Brilliant. There you go, but um, yeah, not great for children, these white ones.